Hi, it's Johnny from Fiber News, and in this short video, I'm gonna to attempt to explain the difference between part fiber and full fiber, or FTTC and FTTP. There's lots of names for broadband products within the UK, and we're doing a separate video on that. But in this case, we're just looking at part fiber, FTTC, against full fiber, FTTP. So, to understand the differences, we need to understand the infrastructure. So, part fiber, like it says on the tin, is not a complete full fiber connection to your premises. The broadband starts in a telephone exchange in your local town. From that exchange, it goes to a cabinet, a street cabinet. You know the little green boxes you see on the end of your road that sometimes can be smashed open by troublesome youths and you see loads of cables knocking about? That's a green cab. Or sometimes you see a little engineer sat there in the rain fiddling around with loads of wires. That is a cab, that is a cabinet. So from the exchange to that cabinet is fiber. Now from that cabinet to your home is copper. So you can see it's a part fiber product. There's a bit of fiber there, but there's also a lot of copper. And that comes with its restrictions, its restrictions on speed, and it also comes with its downfalls of resilience and reliability. Copper network is old. The original copper network was laid for the telephone services many, many, many moons ago. So you know that that cable is gonna be battered over the years, whether it's from weather or whether it's from vermin chewing through the infrastructure, it's not gonna be as reliable. So part fiber, also known as FTTC, which is fiber to the cabinet, is nowhere near as fast or reliable as full fiber. Full fiber, funnily enough, is fiber from the exchange to the cabinet to your premises. There's fiber cable running all the way to your home or your business, which means you're not relying on that traditional copper infrastructure. You can get super fast speeds, up to two, five, 10 gig, because that fiber cable can handle that amount of bandwidth. Whereas copper, the most you're gonna get out of it on a part fiber, which is the better of fiber and ADSL, that can get you up to 80 megs. It's a huge, huge difference. So it's super fast, much more reliable, much better product. We are 50% of the way there in the UK of trying to get to a full fiber nation. It's all very exciting. All the networks are working incredibly hard to constantly lay this new fiber to bring all homes and businesses this super fast, amazing product. The more we get full fiber, the more we become digitally adapt. We are becoming very hungry in terms of using bandwidth. Hungry, that wasn't very good. In terms of using smart devices within our home. Just imagine if you've got a smart fridge, you've got an Amazon Alexa, you've got a TV, four mobile phones, you've got a PS5 and an Xbox 360. All of those are consuming internet, are consuming data. All of those are consuming bandwidth. Suddenly you need more than the 80 megs that your part fiber can provide. You need a full fiber service. And the more we get hungry, the more we work from home, the more devices we add into our premises, the more bandwidth we're gonna require. So you can see why we're doing it, why we are building to a full fiber Britain. It's very exciting.